Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Forensics here at Pentester Academy. In this video I wanted to talk a little bit about what can you do with a binary that's been stripped. So far many of the things that we've looked at such as strings and NM require you to have a binary that hasn't been stripped in order to be useful. So I wanted to show you something that really doesn't matter namely a tool called LDD. So I'm here in a directory where I have some of the files from the Xingxi Quan rootkit and I have compiled these files and I have stripped them. I've also packed them and this is something we will talk about in a future video. But I wanted to show you what you can find out even if it's been stripped using LDD. Now what does LDD do? This utility will list the libraries that are being used by a particular file. So I can just type LDD on Xing Shi Bind Shell, and it tells me here are the symbols that are being loaded. Here are the libraries that are being used. So you can see I'm using some of the standard Linux libraries. I have libc, I have LD as well. So this is a little bit of information. Of course, in this case, it's not terribly insightful, but I wanted to show you that if I rerun the same command on the stripped version, I get the exact same result. So this is one of those few cases where it really doesn't matter if it's been stripped or not. Now, why do people strip binaries? If we look here, we can see I have a file and the same file that has been stripped. So sometimes people strip files in order to make them smaller and sometimes people strip files in order to make it harder for you to reverse engineer or they could do it for both reasons. The other thing I will point out really briefly is that here we have a packed file which is even smaller yet. So this is one of those things where you're trading off processing time for access time. How quickly can you access the storage media versus how long does it take to decompress this file into memory. If we run LDD on some of these other files, we get very similar results as you can see here. Well, that's all for this video. As always, if you're enjoying these videos here at Pentester Academy, please tell a friend. We'll see you soon.